Have you heard about Microsoft's cognitive services? If not, they are a collection of pre-built artificial intelligence models that can be called just by using a REST API. Do you need to add facial detection to your app? Or perhaps you want to use speech to text? All of these are available to try out, but there's one I want to pay attention to in this video, and that's the custom vision service. This service will let you upload your own images and tell them what categories they belong to. Then you just click a button to train a model and you'll get not only a REST API to call a model, but you can also download the models so that you can bundle them with your mobile apps, which can then work offline without a connection. And in this video, I'll go over how to use the custom vision service to build an image classifier and how to do a quick test to see how well it performs on an image it hasn't seen during training. Now the first thing we need to do is go to the customvision.ai site. You do need to log into this, but if you have a Microsoft account, you can just use that. Once you're logged in, you can create a new project, and this will pop up a dialog where you can give details on your project. Let's give our project a name of herb classification. We're going to leave the project type as classification, but a cool thing you can do now with the custom vision service is that you can train a model to do object detection. Since we wanted to just tell us what herb is in the photo, we'll give it a classification type of multi-class. We can also specify a domain. For instance, if our photos are about specific US landmarks, then we can select the landmarks domain. And this allows our model to be more accurate within that domain. For this though, we're just gonna select general compact, general compact. And the compact versions will build a model that can be used on mobile devices and will give us the option to download the actual model that we can bundle within mobile apps so that the predictions could work even without a connection. And with those settings, we'll click Create Project. Now that the project is created, we need to give it some training images. Microsoft suggests a minimum of 30 images per tag or class, but I've gotten good results with 10 or 15. And to add images, click on the Add Images button. I have images for three different herbs, cilantro, basil, and rosemary. First, I'll add all the images for basil. There are 17 images to add, and now I have to give it a tag, which I'll just put basil. And this is going to be what class the model will attempt to classify photos of basil in the results. And we'll do the same thing with cilantro and rosemary. Alright, now that we have our training data uploaded to the service, we need to train a model using it. All we need to do that is to click on the train button at the top. And once this finishes training, it will give us some evaluation metrics to see how well our model can perform. The two metrics it gives you is precision and recall. Precision and recall are a bit confusing to understand, but in our case, precision measures how many selected images were relevant to each tag, while recall measures how many relevant images were selected for each tag. The thing to remember though is that you want high scores for both precision and recall to indicate that your model will perform well. And you can tune your model by adjusting the probability threshold. This will determine how the tags will be assigned. And if we move the slider all the way up, notice the precision and recall change where precision is now 100%, but recall dropped down to, dropped down to 86%, indicating that the model got a little bit worse. If we move the slider all the way down, recall jumps up to 100%, but precision drops sharply down to 33%, so our model got quite a bit worse in that case. And I'll move this back to 50% so that the model can be at its best. Now let's give this model a quick test. I'm in Google Images, and let's search for, let's see, cilantro. Now this one looks good, and let's copy the URL for this image. Back in our custom vision project, I can select quick test and paste in the image URL. Now let's see what we get. And look at that, it predicted 100% that this was cilantro. But now how do we get to use this model in an application? Well, if you go up and click on prediction URL, it gives you a REST API endpoint URL to use and it also gives you the correct keys to use in the headers for your request. And since we told the domain to be compact, we can also go up to export 
and we have the option to download the model file in a few different ways. We can get the Core ML version for iOS, TensorFlow for Android, Onyx for Windows, and CNTK can also read in Onyx files, and there's even a Docker file if that's preferred. So that's a quick look on how to use the custom vision service to build an image classification model. In the next video, we'll see how to use the custom vision SDKs to programmatically predict on new images.